I noticed that one of the topics you've been discussing on streams recently is scientism and the extent to which unwittingly for many people, science itself has become a kind of surrogate religion. And you've been pointing out effectively that this involves faith, even if people have a very hostile emotional antipathy to that word. Once you dig down with the logic of it, with the questioning, it emerges that actually they do have faith in it. And this isn't, I would say, a particularly um, radical or new concept. If you go back to early modern philosophy with Nietzsche, for example, Nietzsche, who many of these people would look up to in many ways because of his perspectivism and seeing things as ultimately a matter of interpretation, which is essentially their worldview. He says that there's no such thing as science without any presuppositions. A philosophy, a faith must always be there first. It is a metaphysical faith that underlies our faith in science. And you can see that in so many different ways. It could be the reliability of the senses, for example. It could be the fact that the mind is rational, that the world is rational in such a way that the mind can know it. And we can go even further than that into the assumptions that science makes, like, for example, the uniformity of nature to justify induction. You've also got boundary conditions, brute givens in the cosmos, like the mass of a proton, the rate of expansion after the Big Bang. You often talk about the laws of logic. We've got the existence of numbers as well, even the existence of truth itself, and the idea that the results of experiments need to be reported honestly. All of these things aren't established by science. They're presupposed by it. Why is it, you think, though, that people have this idea that science doesn't involve any faith? Uh, because they have a sort of allergic uh, mental reaction to the term faith or religion. Uh, they think that um, religion is not progress. They think science is progress, which is ironic because science can't tell you where, what progress is. You can't tell you where we ought to go and can't, uh, science can't give you ought claims. Um, and that's why where scientism really the bedrock of it starts, which is the assumption that science can answer all the questions. But not only that, can tell us what we ought to do with the results. It can't tell you what you ought to do with the results. I always trap people quickly and I just say, you know, is, is science the best way to truth? And they'll quickly, a, a quick materialist, empiricist will just say, yeah. And I said, if that's true, did, did, sci did a scientific experiment, uh, you know, is that the result of a scientific experiment? <laughs> and they get trapped and they get all, oh, you're just, you know, and like, no, no, this is fundamental. You're starting from a philosophy that uh, that has a teleological priority that you haven't, you know, really grounded in anything, right? It's just an opinion at best from your worldview or it's arbitrary. And then you just try to get people to agree with it. At least that's an honest approach to, let's say a, a materialist is they, they just go, well, no, there is no real, direction but we should we, we should abide by science and you know seek progress and you're like on what grounds and because i like it you know you know like that's where it gets to it's like because i like it and so um yeah you're right and, and this is ancient too i think even i think even it was present was it plato who was like i want he, he basically wanted a a uh, an intellect's world a, a world where the experts the, were the ruling class a technocracy really and uh I'm sure that didn't go in question, uh, you know, on what basis, you know, like what, you know, how can they answer these questions? Can they can 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 technicians and engineers and the smart people who are figuring out math tell us deeper questions about the nature of being human uh, morality? Uh, can they justify the existence of truth in the whole list of metaphysical things you just listed? And the answer is no, they can't. Yeah. And, and even if every possible scientific question had been answered, then in principle, all the really important questions are still left totally untouched. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing that really hits home, I think, when people need to start thinking more carefully about exactly what the realm of science encompasses and then what it doesn't. And the point you made that well, can science itself prove that science is the only way to access knowledge rationally no of course it can't it's self-referentially incoherent yeah it also starts with it also starts with all the assumptions that we seem to have knowledge of right 
it, that that science doesn't. So like science relies on a whole metaphysical category of things, n- numbers, laws of logic, meaning, information, yeah. uh, the seamless, near seamless interaction between mind, external world and concepts like these things are not identical to each other, yet they they participate in a sort of triad. 